Okay, so the uh, fenders are uh, have gotten a good chance to uh, set up overnight. They feel actually really nice and smooth. This is uh, a much nicer texture than I got on the uh, inside of the cab. So I'm going to say I'm doing it right. Still orange peely, but uh, you know, if, it, uh, if it's like that on the uh, body, hopefully it'll, uh, it'll uh, uh, cut and buff out. Um, what I'm going to do before I go and hang these fenders on the uh, on the cab here, I'm going to uh, take a tap and uh, clean out all of these holes. Now I think these ones are five sixteenths around here, five sixteenths, but these ones are three eighths, and uh, I think that's a three eighths as well. So I'm going to do that. I also do have to do a bit of primer touch up on this fender. Um, never seems to end. Uh, that's where I sanded out that run the other day. So what I'm going to do is I'll clean uh, out the uh, holes on this fender. Just hit that with a you know with a trivial amount of primer there and over on the upper right hand corner here. If I wouldn't have sanded through, it wouldn't have been a problem. But I kind of don't like the fact that I can see through to the EDP. You know, like the run is gone, but. I might actually give it a little bit more just to make sure the run is gone. Then just hit it in that one spot and don't touch it again. And uh, then I'll be good. But in the meantime, I'll, uh, I'll uh, clean out the holes in this, hit this with some primer. And then I'll do that one, blah, blah, blah. Then maybe I can do some masking on the truck. And then maybe we can get some base on this thing today. You know, I don't see any reason why I can't get base and clear on this truck today, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, getting there. Starting to look more like a truck. I uh, got the fenders on. Didn't bang them up too much. Uh, uh, these are not on here permanently. Uh, obviously, the gap is, well, it's consistent. It's just rather wide. Um, I'm going to have some problems. I didn't notice in, uh, in fitting them. The, uh, there's a bolt that goes at the base of the fender right there on either side and both of them seem to be sitting back too far for these fenders to work. So either the, the rocker, when I put, a, put new rockers in, is sitting too far forward or not. But in any case, I'll, what I'll do is I'll end up just enlarging that hole. Um, same problem on both sides. It may even be just something as simple as uh, leveling the frame. I'll straighten that out. When I do the final uh, fit up, uh, I'll do that. You know, obviously that tire is a uh, little low. Uh, this door is particularly concerning because uh, it uh, is very close. I have to move the fender a fair bit forward so that it wouldn't hit when you're opening the door. It is clearing, but when I first put the fender on it, it actually was catching. It was a good thing that I put tape on both edges of the fender and the leading edge of the door. To protect it when I was putting it on. Obviously, this door is actually way, way out. You know, I can. Well, it's actually very difficult to see here. But in any case, I think it's a little bit knackered. It's very close to that edge. So the door probably what the door needs to do is the door needs to rotate a bit like that. But then again, this door gap. Is, uh, uh, yeah, technical term. Anyways. Um, I'm going to try and uh, get this thing uh, masked up, which, uh, you know, maybe I should have painted the exterior then the interior. Hard to say. Uh, seems like it would have been a lot easier to mask the exterior than uh, trying to mask the interior now, but then again, there are things that would have been impossible to do without getting overspray on everything else. So I am going to, well, no matter what, I'm committed to what I've done so far anyways. Um, I actually never thought about it, but I wonder how the blue is comparing in terms of color. Um, I think it's pretty similar. I guess the best place to look would be on this bracket and that. It's kind of hard to see because they're different angles. Uh, it has kind of a different color uh, to it. Hard to say. It looks similar enough that it's not blatantly obvious. Like you look at that corner like this and it doesn't seem dramatically different. I am happy with how these fenders turned out along the, these edges here. And uh, I am going to do some masking.
So there's probably not going to be much of an update other than seeing this thing when it's done. If I get done fast enough, it's like, I don't know, one or two in the afternoon, probably about two in the afternoon. And uh, if I get done soon enough, I will spray the base. And depending upon how long it takes to do the base, I will uh, do the uh, uh, clear as well. But we'll not get ahead of ourselves. I still have a Saturday, Sunday. Uh, this is Friday as well. So I still still have, you know, like a, a full two days uh, apart from today to get this done. Okay, all masked off. Um, I'm not going to worry about this part. I don't think it's going to get any overspray on it. Um, ugh, what a giant pain. Uh, there's got to be a better way of doing it than this, but in any case, I have masked off the entire truck, basically from the inside, you know, for most of this stuff because of the way that uh, uh, the paint was done. Um, I don't know if it would be any easier to do it, you know, do the outside than the inside. I have no idea. In any case, um, I think I'm going to take a break for a little bit and then I'm going to come back. Well, actually, I have to go and put this thing out on a uh, set of sawhorses and as well as the cowl. And then I'm pretty much ready to paint. You know, I'll shake my uh, my shake my paint and deuce, and then it's ready to ready to spray. It's uh, just about five, four thirty-five, something like that. And uh, and uh, certainly have enough time tonight to shoot. I'll have to see how hot it is. It's fairly hot today. It might be if it's above eighty-five, then it'll have to wait till tomorrow morning. But we'll see. Okay, so uh, I just spent the last little while uh, degreasing this uh, thing. I took the hood out and the uh, the uh, cowl is sitting there on a pile of sawdust. And uh, wow, I learned uh, an important lesson about overspray. If you think overspray isn't going to get somewhere, oh yes it will. I spent, uh, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes cleaning off the roof. Uh, just uh, from all the blue particles that were on the top of it. Just from probably spray painting the interior. So anyways, uh, I'm going to take a break. It's just about six. And, uh, and I think I will try and, well I'm going to come out. Some of this stuff, it's been a while since it was primed. Some of the stuff also has some overspray that needs to be sanded off. You know, different kind of overspray. This was just you know, not masked over spray, but anyways, some of the stuff it's been more than uh, certainly 24 hours since uh, some of this uh, stuff was primed. I think I'm not sure what the recode interval is for this uh, uh, full poxy. It doesn't say on the uh, can, but I suspect it's it's maximum seven days, and I think some of the stuff has certainly been more than seven days since it was primed. So I'm gonna have to just 400 grit most of this stuff. And uh, and just to be safe, and I uh, also have to knock off some overspray on various places. Oh, anyways, I'm going to take a break for a bit. Okay, so uh, I'm knocking off for the night. Obviously, no base on this thing. Um, what I did was I uh, went over everything and I gave everything a sand with uh, 400 grit. So tomorrow morning I will come out and wax and grease, uh, remove everything because my neighbor came over and I couldn't convince him of the merits of not touching freshly waxed and grease removed stuff. In any case, um, I'm going to do that. That'll sit for probably half hour, an hour, and then... Uh, this thing will be getting based in the morning and clear in the afternoon. It's going to be a bit of a rainy day tomorrow, so hopefully the humidity won't be a problem, but I don't, I'm not anticipating anything. Looking forward to getting some uh, color on this thing. See you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.